<laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Hairy Housewife YouTube channel, you beautiful lot. And today we talk about washing your car. Hello and welcome back to the Hairy Housewife YouTube channel, you beautiful lot. And that's right, we are talking about life's simple little pleasure of just washing your car. Now, the reason this video has come around is because I see so many people on forums, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, other videos, and all over the internet saying they are moving away from the original two bucket method into Lance applied shampoo. Now, when I ask people why they are doing this, they say it's easier, it is simpler, and it is quicker to do. So today, I thought, you know what? Let's test that out, see if it's true or whether it will be myth busted. So without waffling too much, let's jump straight on into it. I'm using my favorite shampoo, and it's fantastic through a lance as well, and that is Dodo Juice Born To Be Mild. It is a cracking, cracking shampoo. If you're looking for a pure shampoo that is fantastic through lance, fantastic in your buckets, and you live in a hard water area, this could be the one for you. So make sure to go check it out. Link in the description below. Um, but today I'm going to start off by using my two buckets. One that has the grit guard in and is my rinse bucket and the other that has my shampoo in and i'm also going to be topping up my lance with 40 ml of shampoo into my lance and topped it up with 460 ml of water and i've also popped 40 ml of shampoo into my wash bucket and i've put about 15 to 20 liters of water in there didn't really measure it out but we're going to jump straight on and we're going to see how easy it is to wash the car with both methods now don't worry, I'm not going to make you sit there and watch me wash the car twice at five or six minutes of time. I'm going to stick them side by side and we're going to have them on, I believe, eight times speed. see i am still going with the two bucket method but that is all because i had missed a patch on the wing mirror that is 15 seconds longer that has taken me with the two bucket method than it did with the lance applied shampoo now we have it that is the lance applied shampoo and the shampoo done through two bucket method what do you guys reckon pop it in the comments below what do you prefer now, as you can see, the two bucket method was 15 seconds slower than the Lance applied shampoo method. However, when it come down to rinsing, unfortunately, I lost the footage. Um, don't ask. And it was a lot quicker to rinse off the shampoo from the two bucket method than it was the shampoo from the Lance applied method. Now, that was down to the amount of foam. So with the shampoo in the buckets, it's diluted down a lot more than it is when it goes through a Lance. Once you've sprayed that on your vehicle, there is a thick layer of foam, a bit like a snow foam. We'll come to that in a second. And it's a lot harder to rinse off. There's a lot more of it to rinse off. So it probably took that little bit longer to rinse that foam off. So all in all, I would say they both took a very similar time to use. The effort, I can't see there being any difference. If you're rinsing your mitt after, you know, on the, the Lance applied one, if you're rinsing your mitt after every panel or every two panels, there is no real time after that just to dip it in another bucket to fill up your wash media with another soapy solution. So, you know, you're not really saving much time in my eyes. I feel like it's a very, very similar. The only time I would probably ever use a Lance applied application is 
if I was maybe running low on water or wanted to conserve water. Now, depending on where you are in the world, if you're in America, UK, you may look at things differently. So in America, I know they use snow foam and then do a contact wash. In this country, our snow foam is not lubricated enough to do a contact wash. So don't mix those two up. Don't nip down and get your built hammer and spray it on and then try and do a contact wash with it. It is not lubricated enough. You need to have that lubrication so you don't scratch and mar the paintwork. So that's why using a good shampoo. Now, not every shampoo can be put through a snow foam lance. Some of them are really, really watery and no good and they dry out too quick. The Dodo Juice one goes through perfectly. As you can see, it does come out slightly thick and it is a pain to rinse off. But any weaker dilution and it dries out too quick and you don't get to go around the whole vehicle without... I mean, you could keep spraying it on different panels. You could keep spraying it all over the vehicle as you're going. But I like to spray the whole vehicle, then go around. With the Dodo Juice one, it will last that whole time of you getting round. Now, for me, I found that with the Lance Applied, it didn't feel as slick and as smooth as it did with the two-bucket method. Now, again, that is probably down to the dilution. When you're doing it with two-bucket method, you're sticking your hand into a soapy, watery mix. So you're getting like a nice wet mitt. When you're going around with the like the Lance Applied shampoo, you're rinsing your mitt off, you're wringing it out to get all the dirt and grime out of it, then you're going onto quite a thick, dense foam of shampoo. And that isn't very well lubricated, it's too thick, it just feels a bit like you're moving custard around the paintwork sometimes, it's a little bit sticky, it's a little bit stiff. Two Bucket Method just felt a lot slicker and a lot nicer to use. And that's my own personal experience, depending on what shampoo you use, you might get a different experience. But again, that's all down to personal preference. Now, would I have noticed if I did the Lance Applied Shampoo last week and the Two Bucket Method this week? Probably not. It was only because I'd done them both together, I got to feel the differences between the two methods. And I've got to say, I prefer the Two Bucket Method. Some people may prefer the Lance Applied Method. It's not for me. As long as you have a good shampoo, it's well lubricated, and you're making sure to rinse that mitt in between each pass of the panel maybe every few panels depending on how dirty the vehicle is and you've done a good pre-wash in your vehicle i can't see there being a lot of difference between the scratching and marring however ease of use i would say the two bucket method so we have it guys that has been my little test today it's not scientific it's just a little take on how i feel about these two wash methods just to show you what happened when i tried them both out so guys i've been the hairy housewife you guys have been great and i'll see you all again very soon